More on that later. Let's start, though, with honey from bees kept in Northern Ireland's apple orchards. Grandfather and grandson team, William Haffey and Jack Wilson, are farmers who also rent hives to apple growers so the bees can pollinate the crop. Helen Mark went to meet them. There are over 4,000 acres of apple trees across County Armagh, so it can rightly call itself the Orchard County of Northern Ireland. The masses of delicate pink and white blossoms are just a joy to behold. And in the thick of it, near the village of Loch Gall, is a small family farm that produces honey. Not just from the few hives they have on the farm, but through a hive rental scheme that benefits the apple producers, the honey maker, and the bee population. It's a lovely sound. A lovely sweet sound. It's good to see this time of year, especially after a long winter. So hopefully that'll be one of the hives that produces a bit of honey for us this year. William Haffey has had a long time love of honeybees, and he and his young grandson, Jack Wilson, make for a special honey producing duo. I was always sort of destined to get into bees from a young age, you know. I was always fascinated by them. Um, getting off the school bus, I got to walk past the bees every day. I always ran into the house and said, oh, look, Granda, the, the bees are out flying today and all this. So it was always bound to happen, I thought, but it was only until like one summer afternoon where he came up to me and I, he asked, would I like to go into the bees one day with them? And, well... My mind was made up as a wee ten-year-old boy at the time, like so. And ever since that day, I was just going out whenever I could, learning more about the bees, just being told how to work with them. Your grandfather, he is the one who has taken you through the learning. He's passed on exactly. his knowledge uh -huh. to you, Jack. He's the fountain of wisdom. It's run now as a business off the farm. Yeah, well, we, we keep a few uh, hives. We have about... 25 to 30 beehives. We rent the hives out to the farmers in the orchards to pollinate their crops for the year. Have you lived in this part of the world all your life, William? Ah, uh, yes, since I was married. Mm -hmm. I'm over 50 years married. And you were farming when you were first here? It's just only a small hole, and so I was only a small farmer, and then I did uh, work for all the farmers. So how did you get into the bees? Uh, it was through an awe farmer. He had a box of bees. I always had interest in bees, but the fan law always said it was too dangerous for the children. Because the, the old, kids got stung. The old, the old uh, people didn't believe um, that you could have a bee box in, around the house. That's over 40 years ago. It didn't put you off? No. I made my own, I made my own box before I was a carpenter too. I used to make coffins. That's where I started off. I used to make coffin. So I have good hands for making things. Then I went away and bought a swarm of bees. It's a swarm you get, and I started from there. And then nowadays I get calls on telephone. People has swarms in gardens and mostly up chimneys, which you cannot take out. So I have a vacuum cleaner now to suck the bees up with a vacuum cleaner. I can use it, bring them home, and put them in a box of my own. Then start again. But for you to be able to do that, you had to learn all this, William. Nowadays, there's classes for beekeepers. But years ago, there was no classes, so you just had to learn about your mistakes. <laughs> and we made plenty of them. <laughs> just the same way I'm teaching Jack. Helen Mark there in County Armagh. You can hear more on Sunday morning here on BBC Radio 4. On Your Farm is at 6.35. And next week here on Farming Today, we will be talking about pollinators. It's almost like we planned it, isn't it?